arthroscopic frozen shoulder release. This patient has frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis. You see all the inflammation there. It's very tight. The head of the humerus is flush up against the glenoid socket. So I need to make some space to work. This is a electric device. Now I use biters. And I just cut the capsule 360 degrees around the shoulder. This is an arthroscopic outpatient procedure. On the left is the subscapularis muscle, one of the rotator cuff muscles. On the right is the capsule. I'm just going to bite through that. I then shave it so there's a space between so it doesn't grow back easily and cause more scar. Now I'm in the back of the shoulder the other side. Again, I'm just taking the biter, coming up and cutting all that thick capsule. That's supposed to be tissue paper thin in the back. You can see it's not, it's very thick and I have to cut through with a biter. Again, I go 360 degrees around the shoulder. To the left, you see how the, on the top, the head is right up against the socket blow. There's no space. You can't even probably tell where one ends and the other begins. You know, I'm just getting through some of the tissue that's too thick to bite. Again, the head is right up against the socket. I'm in the front of the shoulder now. The ball is on top, obviously, and the socket is below, firmly opposed. And I am just cutting through this thick capsule that is scarred in too tight. See all the red inflammation to the left. Again, you can see how tight that is on the right. And I'm just gonna keep cutting. Work my way around. Now I'm 360 degrees around. To be able to see it release the shoulder. See how it's, a, oh, there's the space. That's how it's supposed to look. Now you see the ball and the socket in the separated. That allows some motion and translation so that afterwards when I go to therapy, the shoulder will move. You see all the residual inflammation that I will shave out that causes this. But looking all the way around the shoulder, now there's space. You can see the degree of separation we've been able to achieve arthroscopically. All done.